Well, we all enjoyed the first day of the Olympics, of course, because it's a momentous day on oh, Saturday. Wonderful. There was only one thing missing, and that was British medals. Fortunately, though, we didn't have to wait too long with a silver and a bronze yesterday. And that is all down to two very special women, Lizzie Armitstead and Rebecca Adlington. And I'm pleased to say that we're now joined by their parents, Rebecca's mum mm -hmm. and dad, Kay and Steve, and Lizzie's at John and Carol. Welcome to you all. Now, first of all, if I can start with Kay and Steve, because you're old hands at this, this medal winning <laughs> business, aren't you? But I do recall four years ago, you didn't get to see this 400 metres final, didn't, didn't you? No. Just explain why. Um, because we didn't think she'd qualify for it. So, you know, we never got the, we never actually booked the tickets for it. So. You were there obviously for the 800 metres. We, yeah. We and clearly saw yeah. the second of our gold. So During the race where we, we were on the mile in the stands, yeah. but we'd got big screens to watch. And so, you know, we could watch the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was just tremendously and exciting. The, the, is it a rather different thing spectating because in a swimming race, it's, I can't remember what the time was on the race. Was it? Um, 8.13. A, it was, for, 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 last night. Yeah, yeah it was in for, uh, one, it was one in. Okay, yeah. whereas uh, you know the, the road race was a good couple of hours, wasn't it? So it's that's a long and time, and a half, long time to have your heart, <laughs> heart in your mouth. Hours. Hey? A long time to be wet as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's so boring, technically yeah. difficult to follow, isn't it? Because clearly everybody's trying to cover the brakes, and you know, from a tactical point of view, how engrossed are you in those tactics, and how much information are you being fed by uh, by those around the team? Have you any access to information no, we, like that? We were not with the team at all. You know, we're just with the general public. To come and get the silver medal against Marianne. Is fantastic. She's one of the greatest cyclists of all time. Yes, yeah. we couldn't have asked for more than that. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, Lizzie clearly now is starting her Olympic journey. Marianne has been on an Olympic journey for many years, clearly. Uh, hopes for the time trial. She sounds like she's going to go and enjoy it, but, but hopes really for the rest of her career now because it's a big commitment, clearly from her perspective and indeed from yours, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but that's the path she's chosen. I mean, she had. She had to make a decision as to whether to stick with the velodrome and the track or to go on the road. And she really loves the road, so she's doing a job that she really enjoys. And uh, she'll stick with it for a long time. Stephen Kay, there was an added twist really to, to Becky's swims yesterday because she swam her heat very comfortably. Yeah. And everybody says, after, well, that's all right. She's, she's through no problems. And then she ends up with a draw in lane eight because actually she's just made it in. Would, did that add to your nerves? Yeah, yesterday. I mean, that's one of the downsides of doing the first of the seeded heats, uh, because the, obviously Becky, as you say, she won the heat comfortably, um, but the time wasn't particularly great in comparison to what the rest of the girls did in the two heats that followed. Mm. So, of course, that then did leave us a little bit on tender hooks as to whether that out. time <laughs> is going to be good enough. But that's just the way it goes. And, I mean, you have to be in the finals to have any chance of doing anything in it. So she's done well from lane eight before, so mm. we were pretty confident she'd... She'd race and fight to the end. And now for her preferred discipline, obviously. Thursday's the heat, the under metres, followed by the final, yeah. we hope, on Friday. Uh, what sort of confidence levels do you uh, take into the next few days? Because clearly it's something that she's on record as saying she loves much better than the 400 metres. She, she much prefers the 800. All her training for the last 12 years have been geared round the 800. So for her to get a bronze medal in the Home Olympics in a second event is great. She will take an awful lot of confidence from what she's done going into her 800. Uh, but there's going to be some tough competition. And, and John and Carol, the you know, parents are the sort of the unsung heroes of all these young athletes. I mean, we know about swimming parents having to drive to the pool at yeah. five o'clock in the morning, all that sort of thing. What have you had to give your daughter over the years? Uh, confidence, uh, encouragement. I mean, I lifts. feel it lifts, but it's not like going to the pool at five in the morning. I feel sorry for these two. Mm. Uh, There's a lot of psychology in cycling, and you've got to believe in yourself. And we do a lot of self-belief. We, we believe in her. and Because the women, they, they had a bit of a, an issue last year, didn't they, when the sort of team didn't get on necessarily terribly well after one, one race and had to rebuild relations. Yeah, they did. Mm. But I think that happens in all sports. And uh, I mean, they're, they're all professionals and they know they've got to get on and do a job. And it worked out perfectly. So, you know, the whole team. And she takes positive. She knows who's, who, who's good to work with and works with them. Clear picture of, of what they want and, and they went for it. Mm. And the sound in the swimming pool last night was quite extraordinary. You've already yeah. alluded to it, guys. But um, 
what sort of impact do you think it's going to have on British athletes? We've seen this in the cycling, we've seen amazing crowds outlining the road race, but from your perspective, what was it like sitting there? It was that amazing. Was unbelievable, wasn't you it? You cannot, night? it was goose bump, hairs on the back of your neck, it was, and even Becky's face, I mean, when she came out for the race, she was more focused on the race. During the race, the noise. And even when she's in the water, she can hear that. She hears the, the, the drone, if you like, of the collective noise. Um, she can't hear random people shouting for her, she just hears the, the collective noise. But when she stood on the podium, I mean, even when she got out of the pool, but when she stood on the podium, you could actually see Becky looking round. She got a standing um, ovation at that yeah. point. Right. It was it was be honest, how many of you cried yesterday? <laughs> I did. You did, you did, didn't you? Yeah. you did. Yeah. Just you a did. little bit. Just you did. Becky, about, got it to Becky. Anyway. All right, how about you two? Well, my knees were shaking non-stop for about five minutes. So, yeah. We couldn't control ourselves. Yes. Well, we were cold and wet. We were too, cold and wet. Yes. Oh, yes, of course. To be honest, I didn't actually cry until I met Lizzie last night yeah, and had an opportunity to actually put my well, arms yeah. around her and think, yes. gosh, my daughter's yeah. actually yeah. done this. She's this done is, it. Uh, that's yeah. when yeah. I, I was Brilliant. cheerful. She'll always be able to say she was the first medalist in London's home games yeah. for the British Elizabeth team. Elizabeth the first. Yeah. Elizabeth the first. Or the second. Or the second, yes. depending on yeah. how you do it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Th